Well, there she is. Hello, this is MicroJ11, and today I'm going to explore something that I think might be pretty cool, I'm not sure. Um, so it's like an old crane site. Well, actually, right here, there's also another cool site. This looks like a roundhouse, but there are posted no trespassing signs all there, so I'm not sure. Um, but I'm mostly going to focus on this other place, which we'll go see in a minute. But um, <clears throat> So I am... I don't know where this place is, but it's... Um, Here's the Great Allegheny Passage. It's right along the Mongahela River. I'll put a link in the description to where this place is. Um, so I'm right here in this parking lot. Um, I don't know if I should be parked here or not. I have no idea. There's nobody else parked here, so... But it looks like a business parking lot, so hopefully um, it's after business hours and they won't tow me away or something. But um, <clears throat> So there's the Great Allegheny Passage. So I'm going to go walk right over there through the grass over there. And then... Um, Walk on the Al Allegheny Passage right along here, and then the site I want to check out is right past this bridge, right right there. So it is a, it looks like a crane that they would have unloaded barges, and it just looks kind of cool area. So I'm going to walk down this train track probably. It looks like abandoned train track, at least that's what it looked like um, from the bridge when I run across the bridge. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but I might get to look in this um, this roundhouse when I get on the other side of it. But um, it does have posted no trespassing signs all around, so technically I shouldn't. But uh, yeah, so but it's abandoned, obviously. So it's all boarded up. But we'll see. So let's go go take a look. It's almost I probably got two hours before sunset. Yeah. So there's posted trespassing signs all around this roundhouse, or at least that's what I think it used to be. But it was converted to or used as other used for other purposes. But there's all the windows are blocked up, so here's a neat little lookout point. It's just probably would have been for unloading barges or something. Not really sure. Uh, or getting on boats. But that's where I want to go over there beyond the blue bridge. You might be able to see that right there. If I zoom in. There's a uh right there, there's see that crane right there is where I want to go. That's where I want to go. So beyond those two bridges, so it's a little ways, but it's not too bad. Uh, okay, so I was wrong. These little platform things are not um, for unloading barges. <clears throat> it's actually a sewer, sewer or something like that. So there's a manhole cover here. You can see the big pipe down there. That's a big pipe. That's like four or five feet in diameter. That's a big pipe, but it flows down there. So it might be sewer or something like that. I'm not sure, but it looks like it goes through this little... Uh, Something, not sure what this is. Might be like a, I don't know, filtration or part of the uh, waste management or something. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to go in there. It doesn't look too interesting. It just looks like a big pit. Here's a better view of that big pit thing I was talking about that goes, it looks like it goes into the sewer or something. It looks like it's got a pump there or something like that. But it says filter division, centri, clare. Uh, Centri Spray Corporation, Livorna, Michigan. I think that's what it says. But something with filtration. We'll see. Looks like I can go over here a little bit further. We might have to see what it is. But I'm not going to go down in or anything because I'm alone. So I got to make sure I'm safe. I don't fall in like a pit or something and get stuck. That would not be fun. Oh yeah. Yes, you wouldn't want to fall down there because it's pretty deep. Well, I mean, it's not deep, but you'd probably fall down there and break your leg, and then you wouldn't be able to get out. I mean, there's stairs over there, but still. It's a like contactor box. Yeah. I don't know how old this is, but... Ah, okay, I think I figured out what this does. So it looks like what it does is... It would maybe skim um, oil or something off the top of the water. So maybe they would let water in from the river or let water in from industry into this compartment here. And see this belt down there? So this is a belt right there. And that spins. So here's your belt up here. It goes up, 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 up to the top there. I'm not going up there. And there's a kind of a blade that would run across it. And as it spins, the oil and such would stick to that belt. And as it comes up, the that kind of blade there would clean the belt off and all the debris would fall down here into somewhere, probably into here, um, but you can see some of the debris there. 
and then it looks like it would come out of this chute here and down into these containers where it would be collected. So it's some sort of a filtration system or to get to reclaim oil and stuff like that before it goes into the river um, is my, my thought on what this is. But um, it's pretty cool. So, but yeah, there's a nice big belt there. I'm not going up there, but there's a big motor on top and some more wires and some sort of a filtration tank where it would collect. And you can see all the goop all around there. But it looks kind of like oily stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like an oil. So, pretty cool though. But here's some big contactors. So here's a nice contactor, which it doesn't really, I don't know how to operate it. But here's some more stuff over here. So, so I guess you could probably somehow work that and it would, it's all rusty, but yeah, so pretty cool. So let's get to that crane. There goes a barge, empty. Probably for coal, I imagine. Little shed, of some kind, along the train tracks here. So these are the train tracks I'm following down. I'm almost under the bridge here, so it should be a little bit on the other side of that bridge, the crane that I want to check out. Here's a little uh, building of some kind. It's pretty empty. Looks like it would have had some vents in here though. And lots of air coming through here. But nothing too interesting, just lots of graffiti. So, yeah. Well, there she is. Just met some fishermen over there. There's a little transformer or something. Used to be there. Some insulators, but let's go check it out. I'm not sure how to get over there, but because it's kind of on the other side of this pit. But we'll see. <clears throat> some kind of a insulator material, it looks like. Not sure. Oh, looks like there's a bunch of tracks down there. Oh, okay, so look, there's a, uh, there's the claw thing. So it's not really a crane, it's more, well, I guess it is technically a crane, but it's more like a, um, for picking things up, um, probably this, this looks like sand down there. So maybe there was like a cement factory or something around here. We'll get down there and see what's over there. There's the bucket. It's pretty darn big. It's probably about, I don't know, five foot wide at least. It's got some pulleys in the middle there. Lots of graffiti. At least the people that did the graffiti didn't leave their cans everywhere. That's nice. Sometimes I've seen tons of cans everywhere where there's graffiti. Well, these containers are just like separators, so they would have put like a different material in each of these and then different material in the big one here, so. But yeah, so nothing too interesting over here. There's the crane. So now I gotta figure out how to get up there. It's probably on the other side, but I can't get it to it from over here. And that looks like maybe there was another place over there to put more stuff. All right, well now I'm on the other side. There's a big breaker panel over there. And it looks like these wooden pegs would have carried the electricity maybe. But yeah, probably behind these boards. There's boards on the top and the bottom and then the electricity would have been um, kind of between there so that people couldn't get electrocuted so easily. But there's the drive to make it go. It's pretty darn big, that's for sure. So it goes on rails. There's rails up there and rails down there. Well, I guess that's how you get up. I don't know if I really want to climb up there or not. Looks a little scary. <laughs> At least there's a cage around it. I'll just be super careful. But there's some fishermen over there, so if I get hurt, I'll yell to them, <laughs> and hopefully they'll save me. But, but yeah, <laughs> so I'll just be really careful. And then it actually looks like the train cars would have come right in here, and that's how they would have loaded the stuff. So they would have probably loaded it off the barges that would have parked down here, and then loaded it onto the train tracks, um, onto the rails. 